Why are you guys advocating for a Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia rematch? You didn't give Javante Davis any credit for beating Ryan the first time around. So why are you advocating for the rematch? My opinion, this is probably the dumbest fight that we can get as fans. You guys talk all that junk about Javante Davis fighting Ryan on an even playing field, but then turn around and advocate for the rematch, knowing the fact that Javante is not going to allow Ryan to have a 25 pound weight advantage over him. Last time I checked, Javante is a lightweight. He's not fighting anywhere past 140. Ryan, on the other hand, is talking about fighting Virgil Ortiz and fighting at the welterweight division. We're talking about a guy that couldn't even make 140. He was supposed to be a junior welterweight, but never made the junior welterweight limit. So what weight are they going to fight at if there were to be a rematch? Again, this is the dumbest fight that we can get as fans. And I don't understand why you guys advocating for a pointless rematch. You guys cried about Javante Davis flexing his A-side muscles, making sure that Ryan didn't have all this size advantage over him. But you know the fact that Javante Davis is going to be the A-side again if they were to be a rematch. And again, like I said a minute ago, Javante is not going to allow Ryan to have a 25-pound weight advantage. You know this. So what weight are they going to fight at? Javante is not fighting past 140. Ryan has never made the junior welterweight limit. Ryan is actually a full-fledged welterweight. So what weight are they going to fight at? If Javante Davis makes this man fight <clears throat> him on an even playing field again, you guys are going to be crying. You guys are going to be coming down hard on Javante Davis. We're talking about a, a fighter in Javante Davis who in his last fight stepped on a scale weighing 133 pounds. And we have Ryan Garcia, on the other hand, who in his last fight didn't even make the junior welterweight limit. He actually came three pounds overweight. And in the following day, he probably blew up to 177 pounds. So, I mean, where's the logic behind this nonsense? There isn't any. So what are we doing here? What, what are we doing here? We're supposed to be pushing for Javante Davis to unify the titles. We're supposed to be pushing for Javante Davis to fight guys that we want to see him fight, like a Shakur, like a Loma. That's th th Those are the fights that we want. We don't want this... This shit show anymore, right? Ryan Garcia versus Javante Davis, in my opinion, is a shit show because you got a guy that's arguably a freaking welterweight fighting a lightweight. Where's the logic behind that? I bet you if it the, if it was the other way around and Javante Davis was the much bigger fighter trying to fight someone two weight classes south, you guys would be throwing a fit. So why are you advocating for this garbage now? We've seen what we saw. Javante Davis beat Ryan. So what, are, what, are, what is it else to prove for Javante Davis in this whole Ryan Garcia situation? Ryan Garcia needs to deal with his suspension and worry about fighting fighters in his own damn weight class. He needs to fight fighters his size. This man has told the world that he's too big for 140. He's too big for 140. So he's a welterweight. He's a welterweight talking about fighting Virgil Ortiz who's a junior middleweight. So why in the hell is this man talking about fighting a lightweight still? If that sits right with you, then you're proving to the world that you are just pro Ryan Garcia and anti-boxing. Right now, boxing do not need Ryan Garcia. And I'm just keeping it a buck with y'all. Ryan Garcia is a whole mess right now. And boxing don't need Ryan. Boxing needs to move on from Ryan Garcia because he has shown that he does not care about the sport of boxing.